Hey guys, this is Megan from The Butterbean Shop and I came home from work and I have a very, very, very special surprise waiting for me. Actually, it's not a surprise, I knew it was coming, but I ordered uh, more soaps from Missouri River Soap. Holly um, got me to order all the soaps that she just made for this rainbow extravaganza. And I have not, all I did was like, I came home and it was like sitting in front of my doorstep, just waiting for me and I'm so happy. I want to um, just dig in, but I figured I would do another unboxing video just so um, you guys can open it along with me. And I apologize for the lighting. It's very, very bright. I have um, some French doors that are all kind of glass and I also have a window that's right here next to me, but I did want to open this with you guys so that you guys could be just as excited about this as I am. Okay, so let's just dig right in. So first of all, when I got it, it was like this. I'll go ahead and um, cover my address. Up, but it was just like this. I haven't I haven't done anything except kind of um, I haven't done ooh, I'm showing my goodies. Let me go ahead and <laughs> move this up. You guys don't want to see that. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and dig in. And I did see this part. So there's a sticker on it, of course. She has this beautiful um, tissue paper and always has an, a sticker really a new sticker for every release um and bubble wrap so because she really protects everything so you guys know i do not like ripping the tissue paper so i'm gonna try my best to not rip the tissue paper but you know it happens okay there we go oh it's really really good Okay, thank you, Megan. And she has my handwritten thank you. So thank you, Holly. And then she has this pretty, pretty, pretty um, crinkle paper shred. And then oh, she has, oh my gosh, what is this? this is a sample bag. Oh, wonderful. Let's see what's in here. Let's see what's in the sample bag. Oh, Holly, I can't wait. And she has such the, she has such, her packaging is just superb. So she has her, um, oh my God, she has a business card for this release. It's special for this release. It's the rainbow. Love it. And then this one is Razzle Dazzle Gift Soap. I love it. She didn't have a video for this. What is this one? Um, oh, let me open it. I love it. And you know, pink is my favorite color and I love all these bright colors. Let's see. Oh, it's so fruity. It smells so good. And, um, she has these, um, cubes of, um, embeds, these embedded cubes. And they're all different colors of neon and it, it's beautiful and the edges are beveled can't get over that that's really cute and I mean like I said the packaging is awesome this is and it smells so good okay so I'll have to give this to my little Sayla who was always like my little helper here last time she's not here she's with Papa and Grandma at their house oh look at what's this scented wax melts this is a um this is bliss so let's see what this smells like and i'm probably gonna do another order of all wax melts because i just bought a new one for the girls room and they like their room smelling like candy so oh it smells so good this is gonna be so good in the wax melt i mean in the yeah in the warmer so this is a huge sample. So thanks, Holly. Okay, samples are done. Oh, and there's a Starburst in there. Sayla will, will appreciate that too. 
Okay. So here's the first one, Polka Dot Paradise. Oh. oh, this one smells good. This is creamy and smooth scent of white tea, apricot, and ginger. I can smell the apricot. I can smell it. Oh, it smells amazing. It's very soft. But look at that. You see how big that is? That's huge. Wonderful. And then her sparkle fruit salad. I've seen, I, I saw this being made. Now this has a fun fruity fragrance blend of apples, peaches, pears, berries, rhubarb, blueberries, and more. So this is one of her scent blends. I'm just gonna um, cut a piece off the top. Just cut the shrink wrap off the top so I can smell it. Oh, oh, it smells so good. You guys know I love fruity smells. I love fruity smells. Oh, good job. Good job, Holly. You know I love your stuff. Love your stuff. Oh my God, there's so many in here. I'm not gonna go through all of them with you guys because you guys are good get bored princess kisses juicy and fresh blend of acai berries lemon raindrops and fresh dew Ooh, what does fresh dew smell like i don't know i don't really get a lot of dew oh that smells awesome it's like it's very fresh it, it, it's very, it smells clean, like very clean when you get out. There's one that I really, really, really am interested in smelling, and it's the Freshly Clean Soap. Where is that? Sweetly Clean. Okay, yeah, this is the one I'm really, let me take this out. Okay. Okay, so here's a Sweetly Clean one. Sweet and soapy, clean scent with hints of citrus and floral. Now, I love floral and I love citrus, so let's see. Let's see what this smells like. Ooh, yeah, this smells really good. This smells, I don't even know how to describe it. Like she was saying in her video, like I don't know how to describe it. It does smell florally and it does smell fresh she, and it does smell sweet so it's a perfect name sweetly clean yep and then um, raspberry and vanilla so I won't open that one but look at how straight look at how even her layers are and how straight they are she is the queen of rainbows. Yes, she is. And then we have um, just the classic rainbow. And there is a big difference in the color. I mean, if you, I mean, like if I, if I gave this to my husband, he'd be like, that's the same soap. But, you know, us women and then us soapers as well, this is totally different. Okay. I understand it's the same kind of color concept, but these are totally different. Like, these colors are not as vibrant and bright as these. I mean, they're still pretty because this is like a classic rainbow, like rainbow bright. But this is like the revised version or this is like a rainbow on like coffee, you know, caffeine. So I'm not going to open these, but what is this one? This one is um, signature rainbow soap scented with our classic juicy pear scent okay i might open this one because i'm interested to see what the pear scent is guys no don't do this at home open <laughs> open the um soap with the um, scissors the big scissors at that i should use my nails but i don't want to open the whole thing all the all the way okay But I did though, look. Yes, juicy pear, smells good. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Okay, then this one, Huckleberry Fluff. Um, 
this is Montana Huckleberry. This is a blend. So she created this one. I can't wait to see what that one is going to smell like when I open it. Okay, this is her triple milk unscented soap. And I will use this on Sailor when she has her eczema um, flare-ups. She doesn't really have them a lot since we switched to using homemade soaps, which, you know, I made, but, or other people make like you guys or you soapers. But she does get them sometimes. Okay, this is Confetti Blossom Soap. So this one has soft florals with notes of tulips, peonies, hydrangea, and greenery with fresh spring air. I am curious about this one. Let's see, Miss Holly. What are you working with? Okay. Let's see. Ooh, I love it. It's, it smells like a mountain, <laughs> like a, like a, like a fresh, like you're, like you're going out and you're going to go for a hike, but it's very sweet too. So it's like a sweet, airy hike in the morning, if that makes sense with the air, you know what I mean? I don't know, but it does smell sweet and it has like suntan lotion. Ugh, none of that made sense, did it? But you know. Y'all know what I mean. Well, just buy it and, and see for yourself. It smells really good. One of my favorites. Okay. Sunshine and rainbows. Now, I loved how she um, takes the confetti and kind of swirls it with like a solid. So, you have the confetti, but it's not all confetti. It's like mixed with the solid. And that's beautiful to me. Cheer, a cheerful and juicy blend of, uh, blend of acai berry, sweet peach, and tart grapefruit. <sighs> and I, they're so big. I swear, her soaps, and they're so hard, her soaps last forever in the shower. I'm still using, you know that last um, unboxing video that I opened? I'm still using, like, I think I've only used, like, three of those soaps, that's how long they last. And that's me and my my two daughters using the soap. Yeah, and then the last one is Fruity Loops. I love it. And this is, you know, smells like the cereal. So, I got a big gift. I thank you very much, um, Holly, for all that you do and all that you teach us soapers and um, I'm just so happy to support you in um, your business and um, I want to, I, you know, one of my favorite soapers and um, I'm always going to be like a really good customer because, you know, your soaps are great. They're awesome. So, you know, I do have another... Um, I do have another unboxing, another one that I just got. And then this, um, can you see? Yeah. Okay. And this, um, box is from, oh, I hope you couldn't see my, <laughs> kind of saw my, um, address, but whatever. Um, now this is from my favorite, well, one of my favorite um, Etsy shops, Workshop Heritage, and they do, I mean, my, when my husband doesn't build my wood molds, I get my wood molds from them. Um, I just love the craftsmanship of it, and, and they ship so fast, and they're hassle-free custom orders. I mean, great, absolutely great. And um, I got a custom size. Oh, thank you. I cannot say your name, girl, so I'm not even gonna try. But <laughs> the, um, the um, Etsy shop is um, Workshop Heritage. I got my um, my bar cutter from them, and then I have let's see, one, two, three. This is my fourth mold from them. And I got like a, um, what I used to, to do my, um, 
swirls, the swirler tool, hanger swirl tool, is from them as well. So, I ordered another double loaf um, mold. And it's because my husband is working on, um, he's working on uh, redoing the downstairs man cave to be my soaping room because he's tired of me. Like I've taken over the front room and he's tired of that. So I am doing a, um, a soap studio downstairs. And so he's working on that. So he hasn't had time to make my mold. And I wanted this one because the bottom, also he's not as like advanced <laughs> to do like a sliding bottom like this one. So anyway, I like to do my bars tall and skinny, but I like them super tall. So I do a four inch, so she made um, four inch bottom, bottom sliding out tall and skinny double loaf mold in it. Oh, and she gave me a, um, a lid. And I mean, it's sanded, it's, um, the corners are sanded, there's no rough edges, and just, it's very lightweight, but it still is made very well, and I just absolutely love them. So if you guys um, are in the, um, business of soap making and you like wooden molds like I do like I also I get in my phases like I like wooden molds right now but I also like um what is that um acrylic molds like I just get in my phases right now I'm in my wooden mold phase mold um mo mood and I just love the wooden molds um I love how they insulate the soap um and it's really easy to unmold. So um, you can kind of like unmold them fairly quickly. Um, and, you know, I'm just into it right now. So, um, yeah. So go check out Workshop Heritage to get your mold, your wood molds. They also have a whole bunch of, um, you know, micas. And then they have, I love their um, hanger swirl tool. So, um yeah, guys, uh, well, I guess I'll catch you next time, uh, my next soap making video. I'm in the process of editing a couple more videos, and I will be uploading those soon. But thank you, Holly, and thank you, Workshop Heritage, for offering um, such great products that I have no choice to buy them. Um, and I look forward to purchasing more, more supplies and more soap from you guys. So thanks guys. Oh, and anybody else you can, you're welcome to check out my shop too, if you want to buy any soaps. So, um, yeah, peace out.